Hey guys, we're back with another video today. Who's excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? Well, even if you're not, that's fine. Cause guess what? You're still here. So we all win. Today I'm trying out a new mic and so far I'm liking it. I sound very professional. You get to hear my voice even more closely. Maybe get a little intimate, right? I'm just kidding. Anyway, today we are making another drink inspired soap. This one is a sweet tea inspired soap. I love sweet tea. It's a problem because of the high sugar content. So when I really want it, I have to stop myself and make sure that I prevent myself from having too much because it's not good for you. Y'all gotta take care of your bodies because your body is the temple, okay? Any hoozles. When I originally made this video, it was more so early fall. So <laughs> this video has been a long time coming. I feel like when I wanted to originally start making YouTube videos, I got a little nervous and mentally I wasn't prepared. But now I took the leap and so many of you guys have embraced my channel already and have been giving me positive feedback, so thank you! So as you saw earlier, we started off with mixing our lye solution with our oil base, making a magical, magical soap base. And right now, I am combining my colors with my soap base. On the left, I have good old-fashioned lemon drop mica. And then on the right is a combination of, mm, I want to say a 50-50 of orange vibrance mica and mocha mica. I was trying to get that nice orangey type tea color. I'll add a reference picture so you guys have a general understanding of what I'm trying to go for. It's kind of hard because this color itself isn't clear like tea. So getting it right wasn't exactly perfect, but that's okay. And then my fragrance that I'm using for this soap is called Boston Tea Party from Nature's Candle Soap and Candle Supply. I feel like I always butcher that name. You know what? I'll link it down below with the proper name. And right now I just combined my lemon drop mica, you know, my accent color to my main color, I did a simple in the pot swirl. I typically like to do in the pot swirls for my drink inspired ones because it has more of a fluid look to it. And then just gonna pour it all in. So easy. And so user friendly. It's magical. And as always, <sighs> And then just scrape out all the good stuff to make sure that we have every little bit because we do not want to waste. And then right here, I just showed some melt and pour base that I chopped up into really fine cubes. I wanted more like a crushed ice type of look. That's a little difficult because these chunks are kind of larger, so they look like regular ice. And that's A-OK. -okay. And then I'm just going to sprinkle them out throughout the soap to make them look like little ice cubes. So cute, right? Yeah! Go us! And what's an iced tea and spart soap without some cute little lemon slices? guys 
I got my mold from Amazon. I will link it down below for anyone who's interested. It was the same mold that I used actually for my apple slices. If you look at my previous video, I made these cute little white apple slices for my apple pie soap and I just flipped them over and cut little indents in them. So resourceful. Y'all don't need to buy molds for everything. Like just take what you have and sometimes you can roll with it. Then I was trying to figure out how I wanted to place these lemons. As you can see, I kind of placed them like about a quarter of the way in. So that looks like they're sitting on the rim, I guess. Not really. You know, it's still cute. Coming in for a little soapy close-up. Look at this glam shot. Ooh. Wow. So cute. Look at these ice cubes glistening. But it's soap. But it still looks like ice cubes and little lemons. It's so cute. Wow. So excited to cut into it. Luckily for you guys, I'll just be coming up in three, two, one. Ta da! Here we go. The only problem with using melt and pour soap is that I'm so scared that my fragile little soap cutting strings are gonna break because it is every soap maker's worry when cutting their soap. The thing is, I think these are just regular guitar strings, so they're not meant for hard soap like this. They're more so for cold process soap, especially because, you know, it's not completely cured, meaning that there's still a bit of water in the soap itself that needs to be dried out. And, so it's still soft enough for the strings to cut through. So here you'll see I struggle just for a second and pray that doesn't break. And then it went well. Maybe a few little ice cube casualties, but that's okay. Look at myself anticipating it. And... Wow! This one doesn't have much as the yellow, but on the other side it does. Oopsies. Got a little curl stuck. And look at that back of this one. It's so cool. That's so, like on this side it looks normal, but then when you flip it over to the other side, it looked almost like it kind of reminds me of a little mountainscape. I don't know. Or like a starry night. A brown starry night. <laughs> I was really happy with how this soap turned out. It has that fluid look to it and the little ice cubes on top and lemon slice really pull it all together and it's just so swirly and magical Wow this soap was surprisingly more popular than others and it had sold quite a lot and have remade this a few times you can still find it on my website if you'd like to buy as well as a few other soaps so if you're interested, I'll go ahead and link it down below as well as our Instagram in case you want to stay tuned. So magical. So great. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. I'm not sure what my next soap will be. So I'm really excited about that. If you guys have any suggestions for me though, I'd love to hear it and I'll take it into consideration. As always, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider giving this video a like or comment or even subscribe any little thing helps and i would greatly appreciate it and keep it bubbly y'all bye